Well, as you can tell by this window here, it's raining, which must mean we're in Spain. Now, what you're going to enjoy for this video is the fact that all the film was shot when it was sunny. So cue sunshine. And rain. And sunshine. And rain. Hopefully you get the picture now. So we can continue. So, new Civic. Well, it's not particularly Evo car, sort of obviously as a standard model. However, it does look like a GT3 when you sit in it. Why? Because you look in the rear view mirror and to be honest, you can't see the headlights of the car behind. It's just like you've got a dirty great wing sitting on the back. Um, to be fair, it has improved slightly over the last one. We've still got that bar because of those wraparound lights at the rear. Now, because the um, outside shots of this were taken with somebody else driving the car, you're going to have to put up with somebody else driving the car very slowly around the corner. Cue that. There we go, that's not me. However, I have driven it quite quickly around the corner and it's actually quite good. So, there are two things you need to know about the chassis. The first one is about the ride. The new Civic has got fluid-filled bushes. Uh, the essential upshot of this is that it actually rides very well and should work very well on British roads. It's got a really nice, soft, quite supple feeling and it's particularly sort of at the end of the travel that it just seems to round it out really nicely. The other thing that's important about handling it is the stiffness of the rear torsion beam. Now they've gone with a McPherson strut, front suspension, torsion beam, rear, the main reason they've gone for the torsion beam rear is because of the class leading boot space and the fact that they're magic seats, which I'm sure you'll have a picture of somebody else putting up and down about now. Simple little tug, up it goes, latch down, plenty run. Because you, it rides well, it actually encourages you to drive it quite quickly and I really quite enjoy it. It's not going to set the world on fire, it's not going to sort of outrun the previous generation Type R, but it's really good fun. Engine-wise, you've got three choices, two of which you shouldn't buy. You've got 1.4i VTEC, you've got a 1.8i VTEC, which I'm driving at the moment. However, when you think of VTEC, you think of a very revvy um, engine, which it is. However, to be honest, it hasn't got enough power. In the days of these small turbo uh, petrol engines, it really doesn't feel like it's actually got enough power. Um, so, the one you want to go for is the 2.2 DTEC. I know I'm telling you to buy a diesel, which is not terribly Evo, but trust me, if you're going to buy a Civic, this is the one you want because it's got 148 brake horsepower and 258 pounds foot of torque, as opposed to 128 pounds foot of torque for the 1.8 petrol. So, that's the one to buy because it actually makes the car and the chassis come alive a bit. The upside of the diesel as well is the fact that you then get just 110 grams of CO2 per kilometre. So that's very good. One of the things I like about the Civic is the fact that you're not going to be sitting in another car looking out going, what's that? Which so often these days you tend to do. Looking at a generic hatchback going, I have no idea what it is. It could be German, it could be Japanese. I literally have no idea. However, with the Civic, it really isn't the case. The interior of the new Civic is, well, it's a slightly curious thing because if you got out of Golf and got into this, you would go, wow, this is massively futuristic. However, if you got out of the old Civic and got into this, you'd probably go, hmm, it hasn't been quite so brave. To be honest, I actually think it's quite a good thing because you've now got a layout which everyone can understand, but still looks surprisingly unlike anything else on the market. So, if you want to buy a new Civic, and why wouldn't you, it's an individual looking car uh, with a decent ride and quite nicely direct steering, then it's going to cost you £20,095. Um, that's obviously for the diesel, I'm not going to tell you what the petrol costs because I've already told you you shouldn't buy it. Um, so yes, if you like Hondas and you want a Civic, that's what you're going to stump on. And it should be on sale in the UK from February. So, 
from a rainy, sunny, rainy, sunny Spain. That's it.